Hey, from a green puppy to a pink lady, we've got the most colorful news of the week on In Case You Missed It. <laughs> All righty, first stop, Nova Scotia, where you're going to turn green with envy over this couple whose bulldog had eight puppies and the last one was born green. Yeah, I think the father may have been a bullfrog <laughs> instead of a bulldog. Ribbit, ribbit. The, the green fur dye is a very rare condition. It fades over time, but the puppy will keep a permanent reminder. Its owners asked Facebook users for names, and some of the suggestions included Hulkette, oh, Wasabi, that. and Pistachio. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> well, the puppy shocked everyone by being so green, but now it's leaving messes everywhere it goes. So I'd name it Joe Biden. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Can we have a drum roll? Nobody ever accused me of being neutral, okay? No. All right. Hey, it's not that it's easy being green, but it may be even worse being hot pink. A British woman asked the Lush Cosmetics Company if their razzle-dazzle bath oil bombs were supposed to dye her skin fluorescent pink. She was red-faced and nearly died of embarrassment. <laughs> after Lush discovered that she hadn't read the directions quite right. Because see, instead of dropping that pink bomb into the tub to dissolve, uh -huh. she thought it was like a bar of soap. Oh. So Keith, she rubbed it all over her face and body. <laughs> now she was finally able wow. to remove the pink stain by scrubbing her skin with olive oil, lemon juice, and gritty face wash, which ironically also turned her skin pink. <laughs> Now, I want you to know there's a lesson here. This is why men don't use bath oil bombs. No. Number one, we don't want to turn pink. And number two, we don't read directions. And so therefore, <laughs> no bath bombs. Trey tried it one time. Yeah, he, he had the jacket put in a, a tub of uh -huh. pink bath That's, oil. This, this jacket was yeah. pink until I put it in there. Yeah. It's now red. It's, it's OK, it's red now, yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of manly men, manly um, men. Oh, here we go. Yep. A man Instagrammed an experiment to see how long he could survive eating raw meat before he died of food poisoning. Now, at the time of the report, he'd gone 78 days. Think about this, Keith. Wow. Raw meat, raw fish, washed down with raw eggs, and occasionally a glass of raw camel's milk. Oh, no. Make you hungry? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh, I guess that camel's milk, he drank that on hump day. I don't know. It makes <laughs> sense. He says he used to be a vegan, but he started having health problems being a vegan, so he tried this. Now he's grown to like the taste of raw meat. He's eating fewer calories. He's feeling better, and his pain and dizziness are going away. The only downside is that he now has an irresistible urge to eat vegans. <laughs> raw, I might add. Raw, indeed, Doesn't yeah. Them. Doesn't even put any sauce on them. Well, if you ladies want to attract a meat and potatoes guy like that, the Idaho Potato Commission has the perfect fragrance. Think about this. It's pronounced frites. It's a perfume that smells like French fries. Okay. You see, the word frites is French for French fries. Ah. Now, it was either that or they could call it Chanel Number no. Fry. Wow. <laughs> it's getting worse. It is getting worse. Uh, hazmat team will come in and clean this place up after we finish this. Sadly, it was a limited edition Valentine's Day item and it sold out immediately because I guess every woman wanted to go get a perfume that smelled like French fries. Yeah. But take a tip from that lady with the bath oil bombs and just rub ketchup all over yourself. It'll work just yeah. as well. Yeah. True, yeah. Or you can use fryer oil for <laughs> bath oil. Why not? Here's the word you've been waiting to hear, finally. Yes, finally, <laughs> a Hux criminal mastermind in Brevard County, Florida, entered a true value hardware store with a big pair of bolt cutters shoved down the front of his baggy pants. 
he cut the security cord on a crossbow and then shoved the crossbow down the front of his pants as well. Talk about living dangerously. This is not going to end well. Oh, uh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, somehow he managed to hobble stiff leggedly away, but he was arrested a few days later for a different theft. He was probably trying to shove a smart car down his pants. <laughs> but if convicted, he's going to be sentenced to wear tighter pants. There you go. Perfect sentence. Good take care of that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's all the baggy pants comedy in the news for now. But until next time, always remember that we read the news. So Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>